Sagittarius, welcome to your reading for this week, starting the 8th of September. It's a general reading, so take from it everything that resonates and leave anything else behind. I'm using my teacup tarot and my time to shine oracle cards. So starting off with your overall energy. We've got the Queen of Teacups. And before I start to explain this card, we've got the King and Queen of Teacups. And we've got the King and Queen of Wands. Two divine counterparts. This is really strong energy. So starting off with this Queen of Teacups. This is a card just reminding you to look after yourself, first of all. But generally, the Queen of Teacups is a card of charity, humanity and humility. She's very often in a role where she's helping other people to feel better. And here she is, look, making a pot of tea for other people. She's absolutely loving kindness personified. So very kind, so very generous. So we have this lovely, loving energy followed right next to her by the king of teacups very much the same energy loving kindness generosity here the queen is helping other people here the king is sharing this information he's very uh, emotional but emotionally balanced very loving caring and kind and sharing these qualities with other people what do you need to focus on we've got the six of wands this is moving on and feeling good this card shows up if things have felt a little bit stuck or a little bit delayed, not anymore. This is very much a card, um, I call it the breath of fresh air card, when suddenly things start moving forward. How can you help yourself? We'll start with the King of Wands. Now, the King and Queen of Wands absolutely personify confidence, self-belief, self-assurance and success. The King of Wands is extremely successful, extremely focused, extremely businesslike, entrepreneurial. Very successful because they've had to learn how to be successful. And now that they are, they are sharing this knowledge with other people, both of these kings Loving kindness, generosity, this king, very much a how-to action plan to get you where you'd like to go. Pulling it all together, the queen of wands, confidence, self-belief. She can manifest exactly what she needs, whenever she needs it. And here she is, manifesting a cup of tea and a cake, just like that. Her motto in life is, yes, I can. You just watch me. So really fantastic sense of confidence and success here. And the outcome, the eight of wands, is the time to get busy. Juggling is easy. Lots going on all at once. Expect to get very, very busy for the best reasons possible. So just looking at your top row, we've got a lot of people here. So this could be you helping people. It could be a team of people. You could be any one of these king or queen cards stepping up into this leadership role. But one way or the other, this team of people helping you move on, feel good and get things moving in a fresh new direction. So let's get a little bit more information. The three of emotion. Absolutely lovely. It's a card of celebrating good news. It's celebration, it's success, it's social invitations, it's having fun. So clearly these two couples, the kings and queens, helping you find success. The five of emotion says it's time to move on from the past. Acknowledge it, yes, but it's time for you to move on towards happiness. We were talking about that here. The Eight of Thought says it's time to break free from negativity, especially if it's somebody else's. Here she is popping that red balloon full of negative thoughts with a pin because she's now got a new mantra saying, oh, yes, I can. And here it is again on this Queen of Wands card. Yes, I can. How can you help yourself? 
with this king of wands card when you're moving forward and making plans just take time to reflect before you do these kings and queens can be sort of quite impulsive so you need to just pause and reflect first assess where you are assess how far you've come assess how well you're doing and then make your plan on where to next the four of wisdom the emperor says when you've done that step up show leadership qualities get organized and make your plans for success this is lovely the 17 of wisdom the wish card it's absolutely beautiful it's the star card in traditional tarot this is your success positive outcomes receiving credit for your achievements recognition and appreciation reason to celebrate so the mindfulness part of your reading is leaving the past letting go of the negativity and assessing where you are having the qualities of confidence self-belief and focus to say oh yes i can choose where you're going next get yourself organized and then make your move towards success so i hope you've enjoyed the reading Thank you for listening and watching. Thank you for liking, sharing and subscribing. All those things really help my channel and I'm truly grateful. So have a lovely week. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you here soon.